Chia pooling is finally here and you win actual Chia, this video is going to be the step-by-step -step guide on how to get that set up. Here we are on mainnet.pool.space and the end goal here is to get your farm on our farmer list. So for example, here I am and you can see some stats about my farm. Now overall, the experience is not too complicated, but if you need some more detailed information, we have this documentation, which will show you the step-by-step -step for both Windows and Linux. I'm gonna be on a Linux box, but it's gonna be pretty similar between the two, so I think this video will be helpful for both. Now before we get started, we're still very early on, and this is really for those who are willing to take the risk that the plots they create, they have a 25% chance that they may need to be replotted. The Chia network code just went into its final phase, so everything should be good, but there is still that chance that things need replotted. So consider this your early access with that additional risk. So let's jump over to the mining room and get started. And by mining room, I mean mining dungeon. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to install Chia, and I'm getting this from the Chia documentation. Now we are going to switch latest to main, which is a little ahead of latest. So we'll go ahead and paste that here. And we have similar instructions in our guide, but this will do. So we'll say main here and hit enter. And that's going to put everything into a Chia blockchain directory. Now you may need to follow these previous steps. I didn't show that, but if you need Git, that's what you'll need to do. Once that's done, we should be able to change into Chia blockchain. And now we should be able to say Git branch and see that we are on the main branch. And what we'll do is we'll say sh install.sh. Hit enter, this will take a few moments. All right, now what we can do is we can activate. This will activate a virtual environment and allow us to say Chia commands. So for example, Chia plot NFT show. Hit enter. So the pool contract address as well as the launcher ID. Now we're also going to use the GUI. So what we're going to do is we're going to say sh install and then we're going to go for the GUI version dot sh. This is going to take a moment as well. You can do all of this from the CLI but I find the GUI pretty handy as well. All right now we can change directory into Chia blockchain GUI npm run electron ampersand and it's gonna look something like this. Now, if it's your first time, you'll need to generate a seed phrase, but you'll notice once you're in, there's this new pool tab. And what you'll do is you'll add a plot NFT, connect to a pool. The pool we're gonna be using, it's this really cool one I heard about, it's called Space Pool. So if you want the web address for that, it's na1.pool.space. That's for North America. We also have Europe for EU1 and then Asia, Asia1. They all join the same pool, so don't worry about that. It's more about where you are located. Now for the fee, you can leave that empty, but there is one more thing you need to know about is that you need a really, really tiny amount of Chia in your wallet, specifically a mojo, a small fraction of a Chia. So you can get that at faucet.chia.net, which is the official Chia faucet. There are others out there, but this is the most trusted, obviously. And then from your wallet, you can grab your receive address, copy that, go ahead and paste that. Now you have to prove you're not a robot. Uh, apparently I'm not very good at this. And hit submit. All right, and it says already sent. If this is your first time, it might say something else. Now give that some time to show up in your wallet. And again, you will need to make sure that your wallet is fully synced, which in my case it is. Once that's done, you can go back to what you're doing. Unfortunately, you have to type it all back in. So we'll go with that and hit create. And it'll take a moment for that transaction to be confirmed. Once it's done, you'll have some cute name for this NFT. And here you can find that contract address and here you can find the launcher ID. Now I'll show you how to actually create plots to this pool. We're gonna go the old fashioned way and then I'm gonna talk about Mad Max plotter as well. So you go into plots and add a plot and there's going to be this new option for joining a pool and you can select that NFT. Everything else is pretty much the same, so you're going to choose a temporary location, which does a lot of writing, and then a final destination where those plots are actually gonna go. Now for this, what I would recommend is creating a new folder. So for example, a folder called space, and that's where you can store all of your plots in. 
That way you're not mixing up with any other plots you might already have. So in the situation where you might need to replot or you want to replace OG plots, well, then they're nicely organized. So that's what you can use for the destination directory. Then you'll just need to make sure to add that plot directory. So that's the simple version of how to get this all running. No fancy CLI commands, but I know most of you watching this are going to want to use the Mad Max plotter just because it is, well, honestly, it's just better. So with that, I'm able to crank a plot out almost every 30 minutes. So fortunately, shout out to Mad Max because it is all up to date and it will work for pullable plots. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to literally just paste a command and then explain it. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to change back to the home directory and we're going to install Mad Max Plotter. Now here it is up on the other GitHub page. Now, I'm not gonna explain every single thing here. I did a video introducing the Mad Max Plotter, but the main things you need to know, the count is the number of plots you wanna create, the number of threads you want to use, the first temporary directory, which is gonna do 25-ish percent of the writes, and then a secondary temp directory, which will do 75% of the writes, which is what a lot of people use a RAM disk for. The final directory is where everything is going to go, and then we're going to need the farmer key, and then we'll need one other thing which is not listed here because it's a, it's a little more up-to-date than what's listed here. But again, if you're watching this in the future, this will probably be updated. From our intro guide, I'm going to take this line here and then in a new terminal, paste that here. Hit enter. That's going to make a new directory called Chia Plotter. Next line on here is sudo apt get install cmake3. Now, I wasn't able to get it working with cmake3, but I did get it working with just cmake. sudo apt get install cmake. Then we'll cd into Chia Plotter. And there's a file in here. Uh, make dev l.sh so we're going to run that so make dev l.sh now here is the command to get the most up-to-date flags for pullable plots and then here is an example of how you might run this now i did mention to do chia plot nft show to get the pool contract puzzle hash but we're also going to need the farmer public key so for that in the Chia virtual environment, you can just say Chia keys show, and you can find your farmer public key right here. So we'll need that as well. Once Mad Max is fully installed, you can start building out a command. I'll show you mine. And I did get one issue, which that's just because you'll need to change directory into the build directory. And now I should be able to paste this same command and it starts working. So let's take a look at this real quick. N is negative one for unlimited plots. We're on a 16 thread processor. We're using the SSD for the first temporary and then my RAM disk for the second temporary. And then this Mad Max directory I created for the destination. Here is my farmer public key. And then here is the puzzle hash. This will then need to be added as a directory. So we'll go in here and just make sure you have that location selected. Then once it's done, they'll just show up here and you'll start farming. Now, once you have your first plot, pretty immediately you should be able to go onto our website, pool.space, and go into this right here, paste in your launcher ID, do a search, and your stats will show up here. Again, as a reminder, the place you get that is right here, the launcher ID. Now you'll notice I have numerous on here and that'll allow you to do multiple pools or kind of logically separate out your plots. You can think of them as logical folders to organize your plots. But for me, I'm probably gonna do most of mine on just one of these NFTs. Now you can create a custom alias using this command here, which is how I get mine to show up as Caleb. And honestly, that's pretty much it. So yeah, it's kind of a process, but overall not too bad. If you run into any problems at all, you can join our Discord and check out the mainnet beta channel or the general and questions for probably some more beginner stuff. If you're specifically having issues getting started with this process, then this would probably be the best channel. Now this is quite the process and it can vary from machine to machine depending on your setup. So my suggestion is if you run into any issues and you're not resolving them, make sure you have a backup of your mnemonic and just start fresh. You can rename or remove 
the Chia blockchain directory, the Mad Max directory, and then just do it again. As of this moment, we're up to 96 farmers and 126 TIB. Hoping it grows pretty quickly, but we definitely could use your help. Hopefully that was a helpful video, get you set up. If you go through this video and the documentation and you're still running into any issues, then join the Discord because there's plenty of people there willing to help. We definitely wanna have you as part of our pool, so don't hesitate to reach out if you're running into any issues. Keep in mind, again, that this is all still very early. There may be some changes. If it's a major change, I'll do another video, but if not, we'll just update the documentation and everything else should be pretty much the same. And with that, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one.